Good morning, everybody. Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here. I thought I'd take you on a little tour of all of my Christmas stuff that I now have set out. All of my little Christmas stitches in, interspersed amongst it. There's not a lot, but there is some, so I thought I'd show you. Behind you is a, oh goodness, a wooden, I don't even know what to call this, Christmas wall hanging door decoration that we got many years ago. I don't even remember where. It does light up, but I don't have it plugged in right now because I had to steal the extension cord for something else. <laughs> but I am going to turn you around now and show you all my goodies. Hold on. So basically, I just have several different um, little vignettes set up in the apartment. We don't have a whole lot of space to decorate with a whole lot of stuff, which is fine with us, but I kind of like what I've come up with. So let me zoom in here. This is just a little table that we have in our foyer with a garland around it. I got this tiered tray at Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, um, Ben Franklin's here a few months ago. And all of the little ornament stitches that you see in here are ones that I did, I think all of them are, yeah, are ones that I did um, last year during my Christmas in July ornament, which was trying to do an ornament a day. It didn't quite work out that way, but that's okay. These are all from different, um, just cross stitch, Christmas ornament issues. I'm, I'm not sure which one's off the top of my head, but that is a, um, that's a Just Nan. This, of course, is Lizzie Kate. Prairie Schooler. I don't remember the designer on this one, but I absolutely adore this one. I think this one had other, another like big star or something on it that I left out. I love that one. I love how I managed to finish it. This snowman was a gift from Cindy. I loved the green fabric. This is actually um, an extra design fabric. Oh, I want to say, oh, I don't remember the name of it. It's one of her bright greens that she sent me a sample of that I love. This one I still need to stitch the top. Probably put some kind of trim around the edge. And then this little one is actually from a little um, Michael Powell Christmas ornament little pamphlet book that I got from Amazon of all places. I wanna do like all of the ones in that book. Now you'll see that I have the, the tray filled with different ornaments. Filling them with ornaments was actually Mike's idea. So, yay, he's, he's a smart man. These are, a lot of these are vintage ornaments that were my parents, that were passed down to me. I, we just got a small tree for the apartment this year and I didn't have room. I don't like to really pack a lot of ornaments on my Christmas tree. So I think they look awesome in the tray. And then I have a couple, these are little um, ornament houses, kind of along the lines of the Department 56 houses. I used to collect those, I don't have them anymore, but I have a few of these ornaments. They're really heavy, so they're actually kind of hard to put on the tree, but I love what I've done here. And again, the little vintage, vintage Santa, this is one of those little bells. Those were my parents as well. This Santa plate was one of the um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts annual Christmas plates that they did. As you can see, this was from 1987, and that is when I did it. And then in this sleigh, that is a Lizzie Kate design. And you can see that the pattern, the design was a little bit big for the opening in the sleigh. So I just put Rick Rack at the top and the bottom to kind of frame it out and make it fit in there better. Over here, we have a little camper that I got at Joann's um, probably after Christmas sale last year. A couple little snowmen, the vintage little snowmen bells again from my parents. And the, the bottle trees are also vintage. 
these were my parents. These are what we used to have under our tree around our, we used to have a train running under our tree every year. And then another Lizzie Kate with the frame. This is one that I had had for years and years. I had started it, hadn't finished it. When I picked up stitching again, I finished it. So a couple years ago and I had gotten the frame when I got the pattern. So I had everything ready to go. So again, that is our little entryway setup. Come into the living room and we have our tree and it is just a five foot, a little tree. We were going to buy a tree, um, but we were afraid we couldn't. We usually buy a tree. We don't like to store a tree in an, with having an apartment because there's just not that much storage. Um, so we were going to buy a tree this year, but again, but we were afraid we wouldn't be able to get one small enough. We probably could have, but we decided to go ahead and just buy this one and then we'll have it for whatever house we end up in in San Antonio. Back behind the tree on our little cabinet here, we have the little nativity. This is actually a nativity, a ceramic nativity that my mother made in her brief stint with, um, with ceramics, she painted them. I don't know whether she actually did the the molding of them. I don't know, but she did paint them. And then these are the two, the cross stitch pieces that I thought I didn't have anymore that I had stitched for my mother. These are both Stony Creek um, on, looks like 14 count black, Ada. I don't know whether you can see the glitter in it. The words are, metallic and there's lots of glitter in it so you can see 1987 I don't see my my uh, name and date on the other one but I did them I think the same year or within a year of each other so I was pleased it's been two years since I've had my Christmas stuff out so I couldn't really remember <laughs> so I was pleased to see I still had those so the Christmas tree, like I said, I don't like to put a whole bunch of ornaments on a tree. There's a little snowman family that has each of our names on it. That always gets pride of place. I do have some of our vintage ornaments on here. I have some of the of our Hawaii ornaments that we got when we were out here on trips in the early 2000s. A lot of these are my old family ornaments. And then we have our Christmas pickle. My boys aren't here to find the Christmas pickle this year, but it still gets put on the tree. I do like to pick up ornaments from the different places that we travel. And what I may do, a lot of them aren't out, but what I may do next year is make this tree our travel tree and put all the travel ornaments on this somewhere and wherever we end up living. And then we just have another little set up here in front of our TV. Nothing fancy. Again, some more things that didn't get put on the tree. These little houses are actually from Pier 1. Pier 1 is going out of business here on, oh, I think one of the gals in the Stitchy group said that 70 stores across the country are closing, and of course that includes the one here on the island. Um, so I got these at Pier 1 the other day. This is Mike's stocking here. I don't have a nice stocking hanger, so our stockings are just kind of laying around basically. Sasha being naughty with the tree, which is a real thing. Mr. Potato Head and the zebra. <laughs> they always make an appearance. Actually, they're always here on the TV stand. This one, the church doesn't light up, but I like it had a little cotton in the chimney for the smoke, but the other two houses do light up. And then my stocking is one of the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts stockings. I had planned on making one of these for each of my boys and for Mike, but um, again, you know, I don't know if they really appreciate them. 
and it's an awful lot of work. So we'll see. So that is the little tour of my Christmas decor this year. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed seeing my stitching pieces. And now on with the show. Okay, are we ready? Are we on? Hello? Hello everybody. Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of all of my Christmas stuff at the beginning of this video. Um, like I said, we don't have a lot. We don't need a lot. Um, and you know, I hope we don't, I don't want to go overboard when we actually have a house either because yeah, just don't need a lot of stuff, but I really like what we do have in it. It makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I hope you enjoy what you see here. And of course, welcome back to all my friends that are returning and who's, who have stuck with me through the madness here. It is December 11th, Wednesday, 10.54 a.m. It is 82 degrees and sunny here in my little corner of Oahu. And my corner is actually in the middle of Oahu, so it's not really a corner, but that's okay. Um, it's been a fantastic stitchy friend couple of days. If you follow me on Instagram um, or on my Facebook group, you did see pictures. So over the weekend on Sunday, the group that I meet with here on the island got together. It was kind of our Christmas gift exchange one as well. And so I have some goodies to show you in a little bit. And then yesterday, D, D's Nuts on, D's Nuts 1272 on Instagram, D Ellis, um, who is one of the gals in my stitchy group here, and I went downtown to meet up with Christine, stitch all the things. Her and her husband are currently on a Hawaiian island cruise, and yesterday was their day to stop in Honolulu. So um, they walked down to Waikiki, and we drove down to Waikiki, and we met up and just hung out at a local park, um, right on the water, breezes blowing, and just talked and talked and talked, and it was just lovely. Um, you know, that's one of the great things whenever you become friends with somebody in that shares a love of a craft, you kind of just, you don't need really a formal introduction. You don't need to uh, get used to each other. You already have a connection and it's, it's just such a special time when you get to meet somebody in real life. So Christine, thank you so much for, um, taking the time out because you could have done anything on your day in on in Honolulu and you decided to spend it with me and Dee and we do appreciate that and I cannot wait to see you again at StitchCon. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Um, so yeah, it's been a special couple of days here. Not a whole lot else is happening. Nope, 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 nope. Not a whole lot else is happening. So we're going to just dive right into the stitchy stuff. Um, not a whole lot of variety to show you. I've been concentrating on just a couple of pieces. No, not monogamous yet. And also thinking about Christmas start and New Year's. And just starting to think about how I want to handle all of my projects in 2020. I haven't made any decisions. I haven't even really come up with a loose plan. Um, yeah, because my when I think of all my projects, my brain just kind of goes, especially when I know I'm starting farewell to anger. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the tiny decision app just focused on like five each month with maybe one of them going across the different months. I don't really know, but starting to think about that. I um, am also thinking about whether I wanna do a, um, kind of a wrap up 2019 video, show you everything I've been working on this year, what finishes I've had that I still have in my possession. I haven't been keeping, I have to admit this is um, confession time. I haven't been keeping up in my X-Stitch app um, all of my starts and all of my finishes. I've kind of like 
I don't know, I don't remember the last time I've actually entered anything in there. So I don't know how easy or how hard it's going to be to actually create that kind of compilation. But I'll be doing something. So stay tuned for that. Yesterday I did my um, fourth and my basics of cross stitch lessons. Yesterday it was Let's Talk Fibers. So I covered a lot of the different fibers that you may come across in the cross stitch world. Not in depth in any of those. In depth ones will be saved for late, later videos. So it's kind of like an intro to a bunch of different fibers. The next basics of cross stitch lesson will be on how to put together a kit, how to kit up your own project. If you're new and you're used to just buying kits with everything already in it, what do you have to think about when you're kitting up your own project? So that will be next Monday's video. I have not yet done, obviously, the video on um, getting my farewell to anger floss manage, manning, management organization thing set up. I am still going to do that. I, I haven't had time over the weekend. Hopefully this may be tomorrow. We'll see. And of course, Friday will be a stitch with me. It's Wednesday already. How did that happen? Yeah, time flies. So what have I been working on this week? Oh, wait, I have finishes. I have finishes. Okay, fully finished. So this is the one, of course, that I showed you before that I said I wanted to do something else on the bottom to kind of cover up the join. So this is what I've come up with. These are little wooden leaves that I got a package of them. I don't even know where I got these now. Some craft store somewhere in the United States. <laughs> And then I picked up these little flowers at Ben Franklin the other day. So I am thrilled with that. And keeping to the autumn theme. So again, using the little wooden leaves because I have a ton of them. This is the tray that I got at Joann's when I was um, back in Phoenix at the beginning of November that my in-laws mailed to me. So it says, you can kind of see a little bit of the white writing on it. It said one nest, or our nest, I'm sorry, our nest on here. But I just covered that up. I was going to put, I got a big um, yellow kind of like sunflower thing that I was going to put in here with some greenery. But I decided that it really kind of competed with the stitching. It was too much. And I really, of course, want the stitching to stand out. So... I took some of this braided burlapy type ribbon that I have and just cut off strips and glued that behind and then glued the wooden leaves in between. I got this trim. I went to, um, there's a fabric store here on the island called Fabric Mart. Huge, huge, filled with, you know, all of the amazing Hawaiian fabrics. Um, but they do have trims as well. So I picked up this little um, brown pom-pom trim, which I think is perfect around this. And so, yeah, that's, that's done. Just in time for Christmas. <laughs> I still have the Christmas one to do. I started to pull together. I got some stuff at Ben Franklin for that and started to get some ideas of how I want to do that. Um, so hopefully next floss tube, you will see that done. But I'm very happy with this. I love this basket. I think it's very cool. So, that will be ready for our new home in San Antonio next year. I wanted to see something, actually. Eh, that's a little too big, isn't it? Eh. Thoughts swirling. Always swirling. I haven't worked on the uh, needle book yet. All the stuff is piled up there. That's why I mentioned it. Still watching videos, still a little intimidated, so we shall see. All right, so my stained glass star by Sue Lentz. This is the, one of the pieces I'm working on an hour a day. I didn't get to it every hour. Oh, and I didn't bring up my shawl. Still working on that, that border, the same, the same area. That one I am pretty much getting an hour a day on. Um, it just takes a long time. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm getting about an hour a day on this. Not every day, but the days I do, I'm putting a lot in. Um, so I got this other thing almost done. I think when I get this kind of over here, I'm gonna go back and start filling in these areas with the white satin stitch just to get a feel for what it's gonna look like because I like to do that. So happy with that. The other one that's an hour a day more or less is the Teresa Kogut Angel Angelic Vision. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So she is starting, you're starting to get a feel for her, right? The halo on this side is done. The wing is starting to take shape back here and I'm starting in on her hair. That's a more true look at the color of the fabric. 38 count coffee mix by Extra Design is the fabric. I'm stitching with one strand over two and she is hard to put down. I can't wait to start seeing more of her face come alive. But of course, the one I am concentrating on the most is my bookmark, my um, fractal. I am at 63% now. If I work pretty steadily in the evening for a number of hours on this, I can get about 200 to 300 stitches done. There's no way I'm going to have this done by the end of the year. But it'll be close. I mean, I'd have to like spend a couple days of like working on this all day in order to get have any chance of getting it done. So yeah, that's what I've been working on as far as um, current projects. I think that's all the stitchy stuff to show you. So now we'll go to haul. This is gonna be a quick video. I feel like I must be forgetting something, but I'm not. Just not a lot going on. All right, so um, first thing I wanna talk about I made it through all of Brenda and the Serial Starters videos. I'm caught up with those. And in one of the, the like six or seven, the one I, the, their last one that they had up was seven. Um, so it was either six or seven. Laura mentioned this book. And it's actually one she saw, um, I think, and I saw it too, on Michelle Rudy Farm Girls video. And I have to say I'm intrigued. I'm not getting into quilting. I'm not even sure I want to get into anything as complicated as that looks. But the little houses I could do, the stripes I could do, and I have like all these odds and ends of fabrics. So I got that. And at the same time, you know, Amazon is happy to help with recommending other things. Let me see if I can get up to the, oops, get up to the top of this one quickly. Um, because I am kind of interested, this is kind of along the lines of the whole slow stitching that I did, um, and also a little bit of wool applique. I thought these were really pretty. So bowl me over, still a little pin cushions, but with kind of a different twist with the wool applique and the stitching. So I got both of those books. And my first, the first thing I'm gonna do, I've showed you these before. These are the little, what are they called? Nine patches that um, I got in my mother's stash. And you know, some of them are just little small things. A lot of them are just little small things. And then there are some slightly bigger ones. So I there's a whole pack, a whole pile of them. And they're all, um, of course, they're all vintage fabrics because these are probably pieced in the 50s. Um, pretty cool, huh? 
So this is what I'm going to use to begin with to make little pin cushions from. So I think it'll be good practice since these are already pieced. And I've been wondering what in the world to do with them. Look at that pink gingham. I could even stitch some things on these. I do have some batting here. Um, oh, look at the colors on that. That says me. I do have some batting, so I'll be putting some batting on the tops and doing a little bit of quilt stitching on it. Just running stitches, nothing, nothing fancy. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we go with this. Um, but I was, I was fascinated by that book and thought it might be fun to give this a try. I, um, and of course I have all the other vintage fabric from, again, from my mother's stash and all these other bits and pieces of fabric that I've been collecting. So I thought that might be fun to try. Those little projects are doable. Speaking of Fabric Mart, the store here in Fabric, I did want to try and find some Hawaiian just little pieces. I don't I don't want to get big pieces off the bolt. But the only ones I really found were was this little pack. And they're not they're not really Hawaiian. But um I like the look of it. So that came home with me. Let's see. I also got so for those of you that um are on Garon Tote and Bags Facebook group. You know, they did a $20 gift certificate giveaway a few weeks ago and they gave like four or five of them away. I won one of them. And so I got this gorgeous, isn't that gorgeous? And then it's a pretty green fabric inside. This is where my angelic vision angel is living. Love that. Love that, love that. At the same time, I got a um, 11 by 17 grime guard. It just has a script on it to see, because if I decide that for Farewell to Anger, I do want to use 11 by 17 instead of 11 by 11, I'll already have the grime guard. So that is that. Not really any patterns this week, which is okay. Okay, I don't think I got any PDFs besides the books. So let's see what my friends gave me. Now, um, first off, this isn't my friends. I forgot I had put this in here. I've been working on a project with Donna Bayless by the Bay Needle Arts. She got in touch with me a few weeks ago, oh, probably about a month ago now, and um, Talk to me about the idea of using my pictures, not just for the cross stitch, the full coverage cross stitch like I'm doing, but as a base for embroidery. So to take one of the pictures and embellish it with um, other embroidery, surface embroidery stitches. She has done this before. She has worked with Spoonflower to um, put pictures on fabric and get them printed. And so that's what we have here. This is my summer garden photo printed on spoon flower fabric. Donna is currently working on one of these to get a feel for how it would work to take one of my pictures and do this. My idea would be to just decorate all these flowers here with different types of embroidery stitches. I told Donna I don't know enough about embroidery stitches to really know <laughs> what you would use. But so that's why she's kind of playing with it to give me an idea of how it would work. I have a whole yard. I think there's, um, I think four other pictures on this piece of fabric besides this one. So you may see these in my shop at some point, not till after the new year, obviously, but it's just something we're kind of seeing how it goes. All right, give these from my from my frenzies. Oops, sorry, just pushed you around. So Christina gave us, whoops, not that, a set of note paper and a pen. 
with, I think this might be wild ginger on it. Of course, made in Hawaii. And Christina, thank you. I've already used some of this for some packages I was sending out yesterday. And the pen has the same print on it. So that is very cool and of course comes in very handy. From Aaron, the Lindy Stitches, Mr. and Mrs. Delicious, poor turkeys, a skein of silks for you silk. And then, two things of Kona coffee. And it smells so good. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, and also this bag, a reusable shopping bag with a nice floral Hawaiian print on it. Let's see, from Serena. Pretty little pouch and a gift card to Jamba Juice, which will be very well used. Thank you, Serena. And from D, let's see, a needle minder. It says Aloha. Some extra design floss. We have two gold straw, one Mariska's red, look how pretty that is, some fabric, this is um, all 36 count gold sand, how pretty is that, you know I love me some extra design fabric and a project bag, this is from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts I believe. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And inside is a, it's a white polka dot. Very nice. Thank you, Dee. So, I think I need to put my stained glass star in this one. Yay. Um, the only other thing I have is, um, I picked up these as, as a gift and picked up one for myself, H for Hicks or H for Hawaii. I'm gonna make that into a needle minder. And this will be you know, either a scissor fob or a zipper pull. It has little charms, Hawaiian charms. So that says Hawaii, pineapple, palm tree. Very cool. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. So last but not least, we have our angel. Isn't she pretty? Of course, I love that background. And I could totally see stitching one on that Caribbean fabric I'm getting from Maria from the Stitch Niche. Okay, be kind always. Even when someone doesn't seem to deserve kindness, be kind anyway, for you know not of their struggles. Lovely, right? All right, guys, that is all for me today. That was a rather short one. Um, look for the video on me organizing my, my floss for farewell to anger and Friday stitch with me. That's just in two days, and we're already coming up towards uh, the middle of December. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Until then, guys, I love you. You guys have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.